So today we're going to have a look at the new 3DS XL and the 2DS XL and try and decide which one is actually worth buying. Now before anyone gets shitty and says, oh you should just go and buy a Nintendo Switch, well not everyone can afford a Nintendo Switch and there's a hell of a lot less games on the Nintendo Switch compared to a DS. Now it's fair to say that DS models have come a long way since the original crappy grey one with the, well, let's face it, pretty shit lighting. Things have even come a long way since the first 3DS. This one had several flaws. You could get scratch lines along your screen here because Nintendo fucked up with the design of it. The two little pads weren't raised enough, so when you shut your 3DS, you would actually end up scratching the top screen. Apparently Nintendo did a recall for this, but I didn't see anything about it in game stores, so I didn't know you could do such a thing at the time. And when you think about the original 2DS, well, I have to say, this thing is actually really comfortable in your hands. I really like it. I really like the original 2DS. The only thing I don't like is because you can't fold it like the typical clamshell models, it's a lot easier to scratch your top screen. But, you know, what can you do? But that's enough digressing, let's get back to the topic at hand. Which one of these two is actually worth buying? So first we'll have a look at the 2DS XL, which is the one that most DS fans are talking about these days. Now obviously this is the Pokeball Special version you can buy. It doesn't do anything extra to that of a normal 2DS XL, except for one thing, one very pointless thing. This little bit on the Pokeball can be pushed in, it's a button. The only slippery, glossy-like plastic is the black around the rim. The red, the white, the back, it's all a matte finish with fuck all slip to it for your hands, which I think is great. And on the inside, again, nice non-slippery matte plastic, brilliant. The only thing I don't like is that the top is all glass. This outer rim of black is glass as well as the actual screen. Now if you think back to the original 3DS, which got scratched a lot, it makes me worry if this is going to do the same. I'm hoping Nintendo has used their brains for once and actually realised not to make the same fuck up twice. Also it's very strange that the screen here looks a lot like an iPhone, don't you think? Obviously there's no slide here to turn on 3D because this thing has no 3D. The buttons all feel really good, everything feels incredibly responsive. The on button is down here now as to oppose on the face, which is much better I think, but one thing that you really probably won't like is that in order to change your 3DS games, they don't go here on the top, mm -mm. you have to slide out a bit of plastic, and there it is, there's my DS game, Detective Pikachu of course. SD card is also here. This is, this is the only thing I don't like. I worry that this is one day going to break. Will it clip on if it breaks here? Will I still be able to clip it in place or is it going to look like that for the rest of its life afterwards? I don't know. It's a bit worrying. Now price wise, at the time of me filming this, I believe that this is the cheaper model. But that doesn't mean it's the model you're going to want to go for. And here is the new 3DS XL. Now first of all, the name is fucking stupid. Why has it got the word new in the name? It's actually a terrible idea. The outside plastic is all glossy plastic, except for the buttons. Even the back is slippery. The interior plastic, well, it's not glossy, but it doesn't feel quite as non-slip as the 2DS XL. All the buttons feel incredibly responsive again, and the on button is down here, just like the same on the 2DS XL. But, you have a much easier time putting your games in. One thing you don't have an easier time with though, is if you want to change your SD card, maybe you're switching all your memory from one DS to the other, you have to unscrew these two little screws here. When you've done that, this plastic kind of roughly unclips, which I'm not going to show you because I always feel like it's going to break when I do it. Aside from that, this is obviously the more expensive of the two. So having seen that quick little review, which one do you think you should buy? <gasps> well, I personally vote for the 2DS XL. It's cheaper, it feels better in your hands. The only thing I do worry about is that the top screen will get scratched, but nothing's happened yet and I've had it for a little while and played it a lot, of course. So that's it. If you're like me and you haven't decided to buy a Switch yet, maybe you can't afford one or maybe it hasn't come out with that killer game, aka the Pokemon one I keep hearing about, then this is the thing for you. 
the back catalogue for both of them is obviously huge with your 3DS games and your standard DS games, so all that's left for you to do is pick which one you want the most. Hope this video has been informative to you somehow. Thank you very much for watching this episode of GamePug. If you like the video, please click like or leave a comment. And if you want to help the channel, please click subscribe. It really does help. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.